to greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Supreme Court, led by Justice Paddington Gary, being assisted by Justice Antonia Kubaba and Justice Bharat Patel, has now given the long-awaited judgment, which has brought sanity to our great movement, a movement which was founded on the foundation of constitutionalism, a movement which was founded on the foundation of democracy, a movement which was founded on the foundation of non-discrimination. However, it is a sad development that this long-awaited judgment comes at a time when our country and the world at large is fighting the scourge of the deadly coronavirus. We in the MDCT family would have loved to celebrate this victory at our offices around the country. We, however, have asked our membership to remain calm and celebrate in their respective forms in conformity with the government's efforts to fight the coronavirus. As the MDCT leader, I am sure we will overcome this disease and be able to revert back to our normal lives. This is the moment we have been waiting for, a moment to celebrate constitutionalism, the moment to celebrate the protection of the weak and the vulnerable. Today's judgment has confirmed my rightful place as the leader of MDCT after the demise of our great leader, Dr. Morgan Richard Swangrai, may his soul rest in eternal peace. I stand here today in my capacity as the acting president of MDCT and I accept the huge responsibility that the court has placed on me and I promise to exercise my role to the best of my ability and knowledge as someone who has been deputy president of this party for a good 12 years. The court has moved us back to February 14, 2018 where the MDC constitution clearly articulates that after the death of the president, the deputy president assumes the role of acting president pending the holding of an extraordinary congress to be held no later than a year from the death of the former president. I am therefore obliged to call for an extraordinary congress and I will gladly do so as per the dictates of our constitution and in line with what the court has just said. I am therefore appealing for peace and unity as we go through this transition. My desire is a united MDCT, which is coming together after falling apart. And I would like to state categorically that today we are united as MDCT, which was left behind by Dr. Morgan Zangarai, and we will never, ever fall apart again. The Supreme Court has made us realize that there is no one who is above the law. The law is always above all of us. We are now solid like a rock and we will remain so until we arrive at our destination. And our destination right now is peace, unity and prosperity. I would like to reiterate that unity is the greatest weapon towards political stability. We want political stability in the party and subsequently political stability in the country for a better life for everyone. For united we stand and divided we fall. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Elias Mashabiri, the Organizing Secretary for Gokosa Summit District and his lawyers together with Mr. Sengwen for bringing this very important matter to the courts. Let me again take this opportunity to thank Mr. Person Murimoga and Mr. George Rice who took the same matter to court in 2016. This journey has been a process and not an event. I would like to thank in a special way my lawyer, Professor Madhubu, for standing firm and defending this matter every step of the way and even when others were withdrawing because he believed in the cause of justice, hence this judgment today. Comrades and friends, esteemed members of the MTCT, I would like to thank you all, including DMTL, for your patience. Your patience has finally paid and we have been given another opportunity to build our great movement, a movement which even our late president will be proud of as he rests. Chisa Mpama Chisa, Chisa MDCT Chisa. <laughs>